Here are the contracts we activate. Here are the operators we use. Miner has to be skill 3, mastery 3, and Yato cannot be replaced. First, we deploy Yato and then immediately retreat to dismantle this floating platform. And then we deploy Noyakon when we have enough DP, followed by Cruz facing left. And then we wait until we have enough DP to deploy Miner facing top. And Yato is ready for redeployment now, so we deploy Yato and retreat to dismantle another floating platform. And finally, when we have enough DP, we deploy Hibiscus facing top. Here, four ergates are coming to us. When a fourth ergate is on the platform, we activate Miner skill. In this game, we can just automatically use Miner skill whenever it's ready. You don't have to memorize the timings. Again, we deploy Yato and retreat to dismantle another floating platform. Now we just need to wait until our Yato is ready for redeployment again. And finally, we deploy Yato facing down. This time, we don't retreat. Then we have finished all the preparations. Now we can AFK. Oh, sorry, we cannot AFK. We still need to keep using Miner skill until the game ends. If Miner skill can be automatically activated, we are technically AFK, right? Yeah. In case your Yato or your Noyakon dies, don't worry, because we don't have the last line of defense. We can still leak at most two enemies. And I think that's free. that's it. Thank you for watching. Please click the like button if this video helps. Thank you.